What's up, buddy? How you been? How you doing? I got something I gotta talk to you about. And what I wanna talk to you about is the Lord of the Rings, me boy. Me boy, are we going back to the Shire? We're going to the Shire to have sick and breakfast and all the hobbits and the wizards. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings. Look. Uh, I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings fan. It's it's good, it's cool, and you can obviously tell. Lord of the Rings is the basis of kind of your modern fantasy worlds with the dwarves and the elves and everything else. So you have to give it credit for that. And it is, a, it's you know what, it's good. It's good. I'm not casting shade on Lord of the Rings. Is it, you know, am I deep in the lore? Am I in love with the characters? No, but it's very good, and I'm very glad that it inspired a lot of the fantasy stuff that I maybe enjoy more, like Game of Thrones. Uh, I've been watching this one called uh, Goblin Slayer. You know, obviously Dungeons and Dragons, all that. It is the progenitor of a lot of that. Not all of it, but a lot of that. So I have to give Tolkien, J.R.R. Tolkien, credit for that. But apparently, and this is blowing my mind, this is crazy to me. Apparently, there's a new Amazon Lord of the Rings show. And um, the worst thing has happened, everyone. The worst thing has happened. Because as my colleagues are saying right now, I hate to repeat myself, but... It's woke. Oh my God, it's woke. I can't believe it. This is this is the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> it's woke, can you? Oh my God, it's woke. It's the end of the fucking world how woke it is now. I wanna see real quick. And don't forget to subscribe as we get into that one. Quick, click that subscribe button. Now I saw this all over Twitter, all over YouTube. Let's see. Amazon's woke Lord of the Rings gets destroyed. Will it be a woke disaster? It is an epic fail. The trailer has been destroyed. It is woke garbage. Wow. Goes woke for broke. It gets woke. It goes woke. It got woke. Already a disaster. Okay. A disaster. A disaster. Well, let's see this disaster for ourselves. Here is the first Vanity Fair look at the the Rings of Power, and what people are telling me is you just have to look at the pictures of the characters to tell that this entire thing's gone off the road. Oh my god! So, wait, that's just a lady in, like, cool fantasy armor. What's the, pro wait, what's the problem with this? This is, this is woke? What's woke about this? We've seen ladies with armor fighting before. I guess this is uh, Galadriel, commander of the Northern Armies, which I know is an existing Lord of the Rings character. Real quick, who is Galadriel? The one to rule them all. She was the lady with the headband or whatever else. Okay. So I think some people are saying that because here she's like a fanciful magic lady, that putting her in armor and having her fight is a betrayal of her character. Uh, I'm going to say, I don't know, it's just a cool-looking elf chick, man. I don't know. Here's the thing. I, are you a diehard Lord of the Rings fan watching this right now? Feel free to tell me in the comments how this is a huge betrayal of the story. But you have to keep in mind, this is an adaptation, right? Like, this is not... Tolkien did not write this. So no anything they do is theoretically a betrayal. It's all invented. It's all new. So why can't this lady, in, at a previous time, I think this is set like a thousand years ago, again, because it's elves. She ran around in armor and fought with a sword, and that what that destroys Lord of the Rings somehow? All right, but that's not even the worst part. Let's see how woke this is. Oh, no. Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, my God. There's a black dwarf. There's a black... Well, hopefully it stops getting... Oh, no, guys. There's a black elf. It's the end of the fucking world. What is what is wrong with you people? <laughs> Look, I'm sure some of you are watching this, and I'm sure some of you have bought into this idea that this is a huge betrayal of everything J.R.R. Tolkien ever did. But I went, and I'm like, what is the betrayal? What's the problem? And I tried to dig into it, and people tell me, well, dwarves are supposed to have beards. Even Women dwarves are supposed to have beards. I'm like, okay, so you're mad she doesn't have a beard. What What's wrong with a black elf? And they go, well, typically elves have long hair. And I'm like, so is your betrayal of Tolkien, it's all hair based? It's all, they don't have facial hair or their hair's not long enough? That's the betrayal of, that's woke? How is that woke? What are you talking about? You can say, well, it's not consistent with some of the previous depictions of what, okay. Why, why is this a woke disaster? What are you talking about? Because the elf doesn't have long hair and because the dwarf 
They're trying to say, well, dwarves can't be black. I'm like, well, when did Tolkien say that? When, where? Where was that in the books, that there's not a single black dwarf? And also, again, this is not a Tolkien work. It is an adaptation. It is it is reimagining a thing, okay? As, as fantasy stories do, and sometimes we make these creative choices that maybe better relate to the world in which we live currently. Yes, when Tolkien made his thing, it was totally normal to be like, it's all just white people and, you know, these whatever. Now we live in a time where there's a lot of black Lord of the Rings fans, and I know everybody hates this idea, this idea of representation, but I there are black Lord of the Rings fans, and I've seen them posting, and they're like, I'm so happy there's, like, some black characters that, you know, I feel represented, I feel seen. I feel like this is not just a series you know, that was written for white guys by a white guy. Now it's kind of expanding out and acknowledging there are black people in the fandom. Why don't we give them some characters that look like them? I know some people think this whole idea, well, you don't need characters who look like you. That's not important. It's very easy to say that as a white person where the majority of great characters look like you. Here you're just like, I, I you know, like me, as an Italian, I say this, I get excited when there's an Italian in a movie, when there's an Italian actor. You can call me crazy, but I go, all right. Showing love to the, the Italian people. I, I, I imagine some of you in the audience have your own ethnic background and you're excited to see, you know, your community represented. So here they said, you know what? She's a great actress. We're not going to tell her, well, you're not allowed to be in this because you're black and there's no black characters. It's, it's a fantasy universe. You can do whatever you want. Same for elves. Are you going to go to a great actor? And he goes, I would love to play an elf in Lord of the Rings. It's such a great opportunity. And we go, well, elves can't be black. It doesn't say that in the books anywhere, but we've decided elves can't be black because, I don't know, the spirit of... because What? Because it's based on the Highlands, the Scottish Highlands? I don't know what Lord of the Rings is based on. But the whole point is just because something's based on the real world or a real world ge geographical location, it is still a fantasy location. You can make a black elf. Uh, but again, they're, they're trying to say, well, it's not even about you know them being black. It's that he doesn't have long hair and she doesn't have a beard. Well, that's not woke. That has nothing to do with wokeness. You people are nuts. Uh, and everyone's like the complaints I'm seeing are just confusing. They're like, oh, see, uh, this was one complaint I saw. They go, see, they're making the lady. She's more mannish and masculine because she has a sword and armor. But Elrond, who's supposed to be like a badass warrior elf, they're saying he's like an architect and like a sensitive pretty boy. See, they're emasculating him. They're making him womanly and they're making the women into men. Bros. Does it does it not make sense that in his young age, he started off as a sensitive uh, type person, sensitive elf Elrond or whatever is his name Elrond? I think it is. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Elrond. Does it not make sense that you start off, you're a young guy, you go, you know, I just want to bring peace to the world and I want to find solutions, and then over time, your heart grows hard as you encounter hardship, as you watch your allies die, and he eventually transforms into the Elrond we saw in the movies, who's like a badass elven warrior. That's called character arcs. That's called development. The character should not start... If he started off as a badass elf warrior, there would be no room for him to grow into that character you know and love. You guys gotta... I don't know, man. Look, I don't understand what everyone's mad about. They're mad that the lady doesn't have a beard, that the black guy doesn't have long hair... And uh, I know some of you out there are going to be like, well, I'm a Lord of the Rings purist. This is an uh, abysmal offense to everything Lord of the Rings. You can say that it's not 100% in line with the books, but welcome to ad adapting things for Hollywood, man. When you're making a Hollywood adaptation, you either you make some creative choices that you think are going to make it a more viable product for the year 2022. Let's be real. This isn't the 1970s, and we're not trying to sell a pocket novel about elves. We're trying to sell a big-budget TV show. And, yeah, we're going to have to make some creative uh, choices that we think are going to help sell this thing. That's the free market, baby. Okay, one of those choices is, remember Game of Thrones, Tyrion Lannister? They found a very good-looking guy. What's his name? Uh, fuck, what's the name of the guy who plays Tyrion? You know what his name is. Post it in the comments if you know the name. They found him. He's a good-looking guy. In the books, he gets his nose cut off. Okay? And you know what they said? They said, first of all, no one's going to want to... No one wants to see this guy get his nose cut off. That's going to be disgusting. We're going to have to put him in the makeup chair every day. You know, for the rest of the series, we've got to put him in the makeup chair and put a fake nose on him. Let's just get rid of that part. And it's not, yeah, it's not faithful to the books. 
I mean, hell, even with Game of Thrones, they started making episodes, and you could say that was a huge problem, but, you know, they ran out of book to adapt, and they had to start making stuff up. It happens. So expecting a Hollywood adaptation to be 100% accurate to the book is, like, just silly. It's funny, because I was arguing with a guy online about this. He said, you don't understand, like, taking the beards off the dwarf women, that would be like if the Oompa Loompas were, like, six foot five, or, you know. And I went, wait, 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 you're going to bring up Oompa Loompas as an example of characters that uh, are faithful to the books? Okay, here's the Oompa Loompas in the movie, right? Orange skin, green hair, whatever, little midgets. Here's the original <laughs> book, Oompa Loompas. Oh, no! The original Oompa Loompas were literally like pygmies, like a black tribe of pygmies that he went to the fictional African nation of Oompa Loompa and basically enslaved black people. Okay? So why do you think we changed that? Because it doesn't fit the times. All right? You make choices based on what's going on in the marketplace. And you can get, I guess you can get upset about it. I guess you can get upset that, yes, a world created in the 1970s it's not as marketable as one that, again, includes a little bit of diversity uh, diversity and inclusion. But how is the story going to suffer by the fact that the black lady doesn't have a beard? Can you explain to me like how that's going to result in a worse story? Yeah, You could say it's a less faithful story, sure. But to say the entire project is woke, doomed garbage because the dwarves don't have beards. Bro. Like, I hate to say it, grow up, get over it. It's not that big a deal. If you're losing your mind because the black elves hair isn't long enough, or because there aren't even supposed to be black elves for some fucking reason that no one has explained to me, I hate to say it, then fine, it's not for you. You're right. You're right. You know what? Let's do the classic thing that you guys all complain about where you say, if you don't like it, don't watch it. You guys are all go, well, then I'm not going to watch it. Okay. I don't think they actually need you. I think this is an example of you, the loud, whiny crybabies who can't stand the idea of uh, dwarves not having beards. You do not represent the majority of the audience. The majority of people, if I tell them, hey, did you hear there's a new Lord of the Rings TV show? It's pretty good. Their first reaction is not, well, do the dwarf women have beards? Do you really think that's going to stop people from watching the show? Like the average normal person on the ground? And then you go, well, they're insulting the fans. They're insulting the, they're not insulting the fans. They're insulting you morons who are worried about whether or not the dwarf woman has a beard. It's like such a minor, stupid thing to worry about. Uh, you can say, well, all right, I'll say this. If you want to say, well, I'm worried that maybe they're going to take more liberties with the plot going forward. Okay. Fine. If you say it's, it's a sign that maybe it's not on the right track and maybe they're not being faithful to the series. Okay. Sure, but you need to wait a little bit. I need you, you can say I'm cautious and I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be for me. Sure, but to say it is, again, what is everyone saying on YouTube? Let's take a look. They're saying it's a complete disaster. It has been destroyed. It has been destroyed. It is woke garbage. Shut the, it's been, there is not even, there's one trailer and there's a couple photos of the cast Okay, can you guys slow the fuck down? You don't know if it sucks yet. And if it sucks, don't come to me later and go, see, Vito, I knew it was going to suck. You didn't know. You didn't know. You were basing it on the fact that Elrond is a, is a little fancy boy and there's a, there's a lady wearing armor. Like, your, your reasons for hating this are psychopathic to me. Just shut, just calm the fuck down. It's going to be okay. If it sucks, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But right now... The fact that everyone's complaints is that the dwarf woman doesn't have a fucking beard. You guys have lost your minds. Stop stop watching this grifter shit. Okay? These people just, they hate every fucking thing. It's the only thing they know how to do. They have no idea how to be cautiously optimistic and go, well, it might be good. Let's wait and see. That's the attitude you should have. Stop hating a thing that doesn't even exist yet. Wait for it to exist and then hate it. Anyway, guys, am I wrong? Am I wrong? I, I, You know what? I want a Lord of the Rings expert to come in here and tell me why this is such a fucking betrayal of Tolkien. Okay? And if your argument is that the, the dwarf women don't have beards, then I think Tolkien would have been fine with it. I think if we went to Tolkien and we dug him out of the ground, we ran him cor his corpse, and we said, Hey, is it okay if we have a black dwarf woman and she doesn't have a beard? Do you think he would have gone, No! 
No, he would have said, what the fuck? You guys, my work is being seen worldwide uh, and delivered digitally, which is something he would not even comprehend. It is being broadcast to every corner of the globe. Yeah, make her fucking black. I don't give a shit. That's fantastic. The world is celebrating my Lord of the Rings show and uh, universe and everything else. I think Tolkien would have been like, that is a far greater good than whether or not the black lady has a beard call me crazy let me know in the comments if i'm wrong but i think you guys are jumping the fucking gun on this one just calm the fuck down it is not that big a deal really